we can discuss number of implications. Let's talk first about implications on proliferation. Many people, David, they were asking why this negotiation is taking so long. Why the U.S. State Secretary should sit with Iranian Foreign Minister from 9 o'clock at the evening until 6 o'clock in the morning and to, to discuss hundreds of hours, perhaps. The reason was that the world powers practically the terms and conditions they were negotiating with Iran are new sets of measures far beyond non-proliferation treaty. This is the most powerful, intrusive mechanism for inspections, verification of nuclear program ever during the history of non-proliferation. For the first time, the world powers have been able to define many, many measures which would prevent any way, any path, toward weaponization. Countries like North Korea, they were member of NPT, they withdrew and they built the bomb. Therefore, everybody understood after 40 years, NPT is not enough. Because you can enrich until, uh, to, to up to 100%, and a day you can withdraw and build the bomb. But the sets of measures they have agreed about no breakout or non-diversion toward weaponization or verification, they are new sets of measures which we would never had during the last 40, 50 years. To my understanding, this is a big achievement for proliferation issue. If the world powers would take it to, uh, very serious to globalize, these measures, not to limit to one country. It was uh, one of the reasons the, the negotiation was so complicated. At the end, the implication now can be huge for proliferation, one. Second, Iran initiated 1970 nuclear weapon free zone in the Middle East. And for 40 years, over 40 years, we have not been able to realize this initiative because there is one country, Israel, they have nuclear bomb, hundreds of nuclear bombs, they are not going to dismantle, they are not going to accept NPT, they are not going to give uh, uh, permission to the IAEA for inspection. If the major measures agreed with Iran would be implemented for whole Middle East. This would be perhaps the best guarantee about nuclear weapon free zone in the Middle East. Because when you say enrichment below 5%, okay, for 10, 15 years, Iran would do it. But you can use this moment, this moment to, to convince the other countries in the Middle East to accept such a new measures and regulations. No reprocessing in whole Middle East. Having no excessive stockpile beyond your domestic needs. Stockpile of enriched uranium. There are a lot of good, important new measures on verification, on breakout, on non-diversion toward weaponization. If they can regionalize these measures, this could be really a big achievement for, for the Middle East peace, stability, and for the world. 